I'm going to show you how to make a digital poster for your election poster project. The first thing you do is you go to your Google Drive and you want to go to Google Slides. So you go to New and then you go down to Google Slides and you open up a blank presentation. The first thing you do when you open your blank presentation is you go and you click out X out of themes because you don't need that. You also don't need this layout. So just click on it. Click on that circle and backspace. Click on this, click on the circle and backspace. Now you have a nice blank slide. Um, and you can give it a name, you can give it a name, poster. Okay. And now, but, but the slide is long ways. You want it to look like a poster. So you go up to file and you move down till you get to page setup. Click on page setup. Now um, its default is that widescreen, but you want to make it a custom and you want it to look like a piece of poster paper. So you put in eight and a half or 8.5 and then by 11 and apply that. And now it looks like a piece of printer paper or it looks like it could be a poster. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is put your background in. And to get to the background, you can just go up here to change background, or you can also go to the slide and change background that way. And you can change your background to a color, or you can put in an image. I like to use the colors because it's less busy. There's solid or gradient colors. You just pick something that you like. I'm going to pick this blue color. And there's your background. So now you need a portrait or picture of your presidential candidate. And you've already chosen your president and you've done some research on three issues that your president supports. So you're going to go up to <clears throat> insert, image, search from the web. And then you put in over here, I went into John Adams. Here's a portrait of him, and then I just drag and drop it over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And there it is. And now I want to make it smaller, and then I center it. I can use the red lines to center it. Okay, now I want to put in, I need to put in some slogans, two slogans. For those, I can go to the T for text box. I just click on there. And then I come over and I draw the text box. And I want to fill in that text box. So I go to the paint can. And I'm going to choose the yellow. You can choose any color. And then I'm going to type in my slogan, peace with strength. He believed he wanted peace. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I can also, um, I can change the font there. Um, so maybe I want Mary Weather. Okay. So now I would need some uh, pictures. I need two images representing things that he supported. So I want to go back to insert images, search them the web. And he supported, he wanted to make a, a navy. Uh, so I'm going to put in revolutionary navy so that it gives me pictures of the navy back in those days. And I just picked. I'll pick this ship, bring it over here, and hmm, bring it over here again. Okay, there it goes. Okay, and then I'm going to resize it a little bit, make 
can fit in there. You can move it around anywhere you want. Okay, and then the other thing that he, he was a farmer, so I'm gonna put in colonial farmer to show that he supported the farmers. And so I get some pictures here and I just, just pick something that, that you like. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, and size it down a bit. Okay, now I'll move it over just a little more. You you can fix these any way you like. Okay, over a little bit. Okay, now I need one more slogan, and one thing that you can do is oh, insert. Um, a shape and there's all sorts of really cool shapes that you can insert um, so I'm gonna do this call out and there's a little scroll shape that you, I can put in right here and makes a little scroll and move that around I have to move that over a bit um, so now I've got my scroll and I want to put a fill color in there. So I'm going to choose the yellow again. And with the uh, shapes, you can actually um, make a border, border weight, make it bigger. And then you can color that border, like I'm going to make it red. And then I'm going to put my slogan in here, a true armor. Okay, and then of course make that bigger. Yay. Okay, make that bigger. And maybe make, I can always change it to Meriwether also. Make that Meriwether again. Okay, so that just, um, and I can, you know, I can make, fiddle around with these to make it look better. But that gives you an idea of how to make a poster and good luck with it.